Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. This be Mr. Oakes' camps, Van Rock's loyalists. Just ahead. Should I take them by force and be discreet? You can't stop us! You won't stop me. Bombarder! Defender! Glacier! Confront them! Bombarder! Was that your thing? Not quite. Now to find out what happened here. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Revelio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Revelio! Mark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. A crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. And 
the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. What do we have here? Enjoy suffering, do you? How did you survive our attempt to go first mountain? Hmm. I may have more luck higher up. This is the spot on the map. I best have my wits around. Defender! Your making this too easy. This is almost too easy. Get away! What will we find in here? Defender! Confringo! Glacius! I won't rest! No! I will make you! Confringo! Defender! It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio! Rebellion. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner holds us and we will cross. to open it.
One less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard him speak of it. I need to find Mr. Rokes' wand. Where could it be? Revelio. to learn the error of your ways. Revelio. This must be Mr. Oakes's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. You did. 
did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. <laughs>